Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through the best two-year-old toys that we absolutely love. In case you're new here, I'm Alina Ghost and my son turned three years old only a couple of weeks ago so I feel like I'm in the perfect position to share these toys and games with you guys because we've lived through the two-year-old the sage and it's fresh in my mind I've got plenty of toys to suggest this will be perfect for anybody buying for a two-year-old whether you're buying for Christmas for birthdays or whether it's just a toy or a game to treat someone that you very much love quickly before I start I do these in my spare time so I would absolutely love if you guys can hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos around mum hacks clean with me's routines and lots lots more so I'd love to have you with me so make sure to subscribe hit that bell button as well so that you get notified each time the video comes out anything that I mentioned today I will make sure to link down below for you guys so that it's easy for you guys to go and buy it please feel free to do so and add into the comments if you have anything else to add to this list without further ado let's just get straight into it so number one is probably our biggest lovely fun game we've got so many of these around the house and that is cars any types of vehicles so let's start off with racing cars McQueen so Disney cars is an absolute favorite then there's things like trucks there are things like vans the ambulances there's police cars we absolutely love them all and I managed to get a variety of them so whether it was second hand that I got from Facebook marketplace whether it's charity shops make sure to check out that video that my son and I went into a charity shop together to actually find um, a, a grey McQueen that was that was great so do check that out but then yeah plenty of cars around the house and we love to play cars and vehicles we even recently acquired Acquired an airport that we've been playing with the cars helicopters and a plane as well so honestly any type of moving thing is a win-win number two is balls and honestly it's a little bit like the cars every type goes and in this case we absolutely love football my son is a natural at football we love even playing golf for example we've made our own like homemade golf there's basketballs that we have even in the bath for goodness sake um, so any type of ball we even recently absolutely love bowling so not only does he love the physical bowling of like going to the arcades and going bowling but also he loves the actual mini bowling within the arcade as well so like the game there but we also have bowling at home so we've got like a bowling set with like all the pins we set them out and then he loves to play that so it's an absolutely win-win we also love bouncy balls we love like softballs and like you know ball pits and things like that he is absolutely in love with any type of ball so number three is play-doh we absolutely love playing this together and we first got our first play set with play-doh was the Paw Patrol one and he got it for his second birthday and actually at the beginning he wasn't very um, able to use it or understand how it goes however it occupied a lot of his time to even just watch me how I do it so like he would actually be calm and look and watch and be interested in it and only after a couple of weeks after actually playing with it he then ended up molding things and it's so fascinating to see that development of one particular game of using the molds of using like the rollers or even the plastic knife that it comes with the next toy that I would recommend is any type of brick building block or Lego these are so versatile they're so great so much fun they come in different shapes and different sizes so basically the the smaller and younger your child is do get like the bigger uh, blocks there is a name for it but I completely forgot what it's called but they are the big sized Lego pieces that you can actually make stuff with so we have done so much with these you can really use your imagination so firstly it starts off with building up a tower and then kicking that tower to make a whole big bang crash and a big mess but as they develop, I love seeing the fact that they can use their imagination 
to use these little things to create something so whether it's a monster or we created a little car so going back to that first thing where we absolutely love cars or to actually build a bridge or actually something bigger so I can't wait to see what actually happens with these building blocks as he grows up and out of his tomb. So something to mention is that a lot of these toys that I've already mentioned will actually like last you for a lot longer than just the two year mark as well. I love the fact that they grow with that toy they play it in a different way and then when they come back to it a little bit older they play it in a different more imaginative way so I absolutely love that with building blocks that is exactly what happens. Number five and that will be painting and drawing. I love the fact that it's so fun and not only for him but for me as well. I love all types of crafts and arts. Um, at school I used to be a complete geek and I used to go lunch times to my art teacher to do some fun stuff like extra stuff but basically my son has started this at preschool as well he always comes back with something like new that he's made and painted and stuff but basically have a think about anything it could be like child friendly paints it could be watercolors it could be pastels uh, could be crayons could be like pencils um, even like marker pens so have a think about adding lots of different colors have a think about different textures so it doesn't have to be all on paper so I absolutely love and enjoy playing like that with my son and I definitely do recommend that for two-year-olds as well. I quickly mentioned bath toys already but something I recommend is having any type of water toy so whether it's for the bath whether it's during the summer we absolutely love our basketball game we have one where you pour water into and these mushrooms come up also these things spin it's visual it's entertaining and the other thing that we do and that is usually you play outdoors we used to play with my dog but basically my son would love to have the hose and just hose him down and it's just so much fun during a very summery hot day as well so I definitely do recommend maybe getting a sand pit with some water or there are some water sets as well which I will pop on the screen right now for you guys so yeah we definitely do recommend any sort of bath toys to keep them involved and especially if you find bath time a little bit more difficult uh, I did at one point so uh, to encourage it I uh, ended up buying some more bath toys like that basketball game. A nice easy toy and a game that will keep your two-year-old happy is a simple set of bubbles. So even like one bottle, I don't know why I said set, even one bottle of bubbles will keep them occupied for like most of the day, honestly. Uh, just make sure that there's no slippery floors but having lots of bubbles playing with either the dog or with other kids or with each other and popping them as much as you can, it's a lot of fun for the whole family. Number eight is a bowling set. I actually mentioned this in the balls section, but I would very much recommend bowling on its own as well. As I said, there's three different types of bowling that we do. So we not only go to the physical big bowling and obviously help him with the big balls and he's got like the helper, you know, the little slide that goes down and into the bowling, into the bowling row. <laughs> but basically the other thing is the arcade bowling because it's like a mini one where he can actually grab the balls. The balls are a lot smaller, although a little bit heavy. He can chuck that in and the bowling set at home. So we've got the bowling pins. We started off with foam bowling pins actually um, and used like a foam ball to chuck it onto them. Worked really well until he actually snipped it in half, which was not great. So I chucked those away after they were all snapped in half. Um, and then we have some wooden ones now where we basically put them on and he can roll any type of ball that he's got around the house into them, which is super fun. So number nine is a super special one for us. It's It lies dear in my heart, but basically we got this as a gift for his second birthday and we never looked back since. This is trains and train tracks. So we got the wooden ones specifically for like, I believe it's the London Underground because we live in Essex and basically it's, it's very close to home. So we have been using this around Christmas. We have been using this nearly every single day. Um, I try to rotate it and it comes back 
out of um, the bag of storage that I kept it in because we and my son absolutely loved it. We've even played it this morning. So it's lots of different trains. It's a wooden track that you can actually change up a bit. You can actually make it into what it needs to be or you can make it into a different way like so that it looks a little bit different to what uh, you started with. So every time it could be something different. It like uses that imagination it also goes back to the fact that my son absolutely loves all vehicle types we don't only like cars but we also love trains as well shapes of any kind are super duper great for development and these ones specifically were shapes to put into a, like a plastic bus which has been great versatile i think we got it when he was like under two and he, like i would actually put the shapes there and he would just poke them in but when he turned two he actually started to put the shapes in himself so I love to see that development and once again this toy that is so versatile because we still play he's turned three and we still go back to that toy and there are some shapes there that are actually kind of hard as well so there are some that he does need to think about and needs to rotate as well so I love the fact that you can see him thinking about it and it obviously helps with the usual three shapes that he needs to know and develop during his two years. And that is a circle, a triangle and a square. Sometimes a rectangle as well, depending on how upskilled your child is. But yeah, honestly, I definitely recommend these shapes that are so much fun, so easy. It's such a compact toy as well because all the shapes go into the bus that you can actually take it with you to somewhere. So that's a really good tip if you wanted to take a toy out like on holiday or like a weekend away or to nannies and granddads, then that is a really good toy to have. 11 is a good board game and I'm actually personally surprised about this one. I thought board games didn't come into like a kid's life until they're like five plus, maybe even more. But the fact that my husband managed to find a board game that although it says over threes, I think, my son absolutely loved when he was two. So we would actually make it as simple as possible. And this was the Gruffalo game. We were able to play this game. You have literally only a few different accessories and you get them to roll the dice. You count with them how many you've got on the dice. So is it one, is it two, is it three? It doesn't go more than that. And I love that about the board game, that it is meant for smaller kids. And I definitely do recommend it as like a whole family thing. It's something that we did during Christmas and like our holidays, something where we can gather around together and actually play and enjoy. And I am finding that that game started off his interests for other board games as well, which are out of his age range, but still interested to move these things around. He understands that now he needs to throw the dice and then he has to move like the, the, the little characters as well. I think we opened up Monopoly the other day. So yeah, I definitely do think like introductory um, board games are definitely a win-win. Now let's talk about moving toys. So when I say moving toys, it's more like a scooter or like a moving car that you can sit on. My son absolutely loved and loves these. So much so that our car actually doesn't have any more music on it because he's played with it so much. I think he's hit it a few times that it's now broken, unfortunately. But he absolutely loved like sitting on it, going around the house in it, pressing all the buttons and having all the music. At one point he was like, mummy sing, and would get me involved as well. And then on the other hand, the scooter, that was more of a practical choice for me to be able to actually get him to move during our dog walks or during our walks out a lot quicker. And it did take him a while to like get the steering and actually get to understand that you have to use your foot to like push yourself on this scooter. But I do think it was a great investment because a month or two later, he got it. And when he got it, we were so lucky to be able to actually 
be on the move a lot quicker, especially outdoors out of the house. Something that I absolutely love about this actually is the fact that like the scooter uh, front goes up and down. So as he grows, I'm able to move it upwards so that it goes to his height. So that's a really good tip, particularly not only if you wanted to keep something for a very long time because it was quite expensive. I think it was around the 70 pound mark. But it's also a great one if you've got like a taller child or a smaller child because you can put it up or down as you see fit. So that is a definitely good one to have around the house. Last but not least, and that is musical toys of any kind. So whether you get them a triangle, a flute that they literally just need to like blow into, or whether it's a piano, or like a plastic one or a real one. We actually played a real piano and he absolutely loved it when we were at my relatives a couple of weeks ago at New Forest. But basically it's just uh, anything that makes sound. So whether you like press all the keyboards or something that was great about the keyboard actually is the fact that it had a demo version of different songs so when he pressed a few buttons he ended up on these like songs or tunes that would repeat and repeat and repeat so yeah it did get annoying after a while but at the same time it's great for that development i i liked to dance to it at some point and get a little bit nutty and i'm like encouraging him to jump around with me and get that energy out I mean, it's just really fun easy toys that would make lots of noise and actually keep their attention for a lot longer than just five minutes and that is exactly what we want isn't it as a parent you just want them to develop you want them to enjoy themselves and you want them to give you a little bit of peace sometimes amazing thank you so much for watching i hope that these are really useful toy ideas and tips for you guys so that you can get something super super duper special and super fun super developing let me know which ones your favorites which ones i haven't included uh, down in the comments below i'll make sure to come back to you guys with a video that is around the best toys for three-year-olds so do keep tuned as well thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye